so their their soldiers are coming out to attack they don't quite realize i'm just trying to film them oh man oh gosh because they can't sting me yet right now they're just biting me thinking i'm a leaf or something holy Dude, cow ah, so many. Ah, that one got me oh okay <laughs> through the Peruvian rainforest today with one goal in mind. Okay, so we can go right here towards the big tree or we can go left. And I have a feeling that there's gonna be more leaf cutter ants down here. So let's keep heading in. But let's just remember that we turn left because I don't have a map to get back. That's right, we're tracking down these little guys, leaf cutter ants, to document them in a way that has never been done before. But, as is always the case in the rainforest, we stumbled upon a few other really cool critters. So this here is called a cat-eyed tree snake, and it's in a tree, so it's named pretty well, and if you look up at its eyes, it's got this nice little slit, and that's why they call it a cat-eyed snake, and it is gorgeous. Look at this thing. Wow. Is there anything, like, dangerous? We're in the Amazon. Things are dangerous here. Come on. Yes, this is wild in here. We've got wasps on their nest, spiders on the wall, even cooler spiders in their web, and a nice little cricket. It would be easy to stand and look for all these other creatures all day, but we have a goal in mind, so let's get to it. After eight hours of hiking through water, through brush, and even through a tree, a massive tree fall last night. We heard a big boom and it's completely cutting off our trail and we're gonna have to make our way through this. Wow, look how big this thing is. And watching our every step to make sure something doesn't bite us. There are certain types of vipers that can blend in perfectly to this green. So anytime I'm pushing through brush like this, I always make sure I look at it first and then push through. So. Looks clear. We found what we were looking for. This is it, this is it, look. So we're walking on this human trail and all of a sudden we're seeing the ant trail. So this means we got some leaf cutter ants. What we gotta do now is follow this trail and oh, right here, it's starting to split off. So we have the human trail here and all of a sudden, look at this road. This is what I was talking about. This little road that they keep perfectly clear Look at that, look how far back it goes. So let's follow this road and we'll find the nest. So we kept following them and we have struck gold here. This is probably, I don't know, 15 feet by 15 feet. Underneath all of this dirt is an entire nest of leaf cutter ants. We're talking millions, maybe even tens of millions. And it's just absolutely stunning to watch them in action. Now, we've got some really special gear to film these guys, so we're gonna start getting set up. I'm gonna get some good action. And there they go. These ants are incredibly hard at work, climbing all the way down from the top of the tree where the leaves are. They're heading down to the trail and their nest below. We're now swapping out some lenses. I brought along this really nice specialty lens. Let me put this big guy down and I will show you what it looks like. It's pretty bizarre, but it does some really amazing things. All right, look at this. How strange is this thing? So this is actually the end of the lens right here. We'll attach it to a camera there and it allows us basically a bug's perspective. And this lens is brand new. Very few people have used it and I'm pretty sure no one has ever used it on leaf cutter ants in the rainforest like this. So the footage we're about to get has basically never been seen before and I'm pretty excited to start getting recording. No one ever said filming leaf cutter ants with a brand new experimental lens was easy. We had to make sure the lighting was right, the focus was right, and of course that we weren't getting eaten alive by ants defending themselves. Ants everywhere. But I'm telling you, this footage is worth it. It took us a few tries to get it right. Some shots too far, others too dark. 
but finally we got some footage worth writing home about. Look at how remarkable these ants are when you see them from this perspective. The leaves they have to hoist over their head are huge compared to them, and those jaws seem powerful and sharp for cutting. Now if you look closely, you'll see that some of these ants have a hitchhiker on their leaves. So what's the deal here? Are these ants getting a free ride? Not quite. They're actually the smallest cast of leafcutter ants known as minims. And they're protecting the other ants from parasitoid forward flies that could come by and try to lay an egg in an ant like the one carrying the leaf it's riding. So they're actually tiny bodyguards. After filming on the tree and the trail for a while, we got an idea that seemed a little crazy, but we just had to try it. Filming inside the nest. Right now I'm attaching this lens to a power source because the lens actually has little lights right here. And if we want to film inside the leaf cutter ant nest, we can't get our LED panels inside. We can only use these. So I'm just curious to see what it will actually look like when it's in there. So. Just giving it a shot. Now without damaging the ants or their home, I'm going to try to stick this lens inside and get kind of an insider perspective of what life is like as a leaf cutter ant. I'm inside. This is so crazy. Look at that. Wow. We are seeing the secret life of leafcutter ants. This is part of the story you don't hear that much about where ants don't eat these leaves. They cut the leaves. What they do inside is they feed those leaves to a fungus and they eat that fungus. So these ants are technically farmers. What they're doing is they're harvesting something that then they could feed to a fungus and then eat that fungus. It's the craziest thing ever. And right now this is I just cannot believe what we are seeing inside here. It is absolutely fascinating. Yeah, I have ants on my camera, all over my lens, but I'll tell you what, that perspective of these fascinating leafcutter ants is something I don't think I've ever seen before, so it was so worth it to try out this crazy thing and get that kind of insider view of the life of an ant. Now. I feel like this is just the beginning of what we can film in the rainforest with this thing. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments and we will come back to the jungle and film it.